If you don't mind, sir, you can remove the mask so you can drink. Huh. You are very generous. I accept your offer. Please. Mother! Mother! Dilling, come wash yes? up. You're sweaty and stinky. Mo Mother, look, it's a pheasant! I shot at its neck! Well done, Ziling. <laughs> Mother? Who is he? Uh, this traveler is our guest. You should greet him, Ziling. Greetings, sir. It's very nice to meet you. Sir, is there something wrong? Oh, oh, oh. Nothing's wrong. Your son looks like an old friend of mine. The look in his eyes made me sentimental. Uh, excuse me, miss. What is the name of your husband? Excuse me as well, but can you tell me the name of your friend? I've been traveling for 20 years. Things have changed. I've forgotten my friend's names. <laughs> Mister, since you have forgotten, it wouldn't help if I told you, correct? <laughs> yes, you're right. Oh, I am sorry. I was rude. <laughs> I should go. Uh, mister, you have a really interesting face. Were you hurt by an animal, or were you born that way? Interesting face? <laughs> this is the first time someone said that. Mister, did you hurt your face while you were hunting? I was hurt by someone more ferocious than an animal. Then, did you get revenge? But I have not given up on getting revenge. I must leave. Megu, what's wrong? Sister, that man is strange. He vanished into thin air. He's like a ghost. Send the pigeon out. Ask Ho Ying to come here. Mm, understood. He... He's like a ghost? How weird.
more time. Not so loud. Stay low. I need to listen to your footsteps. Down here. Go down. <laughs> this way. Hey. I got you. Shh. Don't tell her. Hmm. Where are you? <laughs> there! <laughs> arf! 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 <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> hmm. Here, come get me. Come get me. <laughs> 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 I can hear you. <laughs> here you are. Down here. <laughs> I know where you are now. Who am I? My name is Wei Yang. I came from Shanyang to see you, Ziling. To see me? Wei Yang? Mm. I've heard so much about you from Mother! <laughs> I'm your father, Ziling. What? Are you really my father? Mm. Call me father. I won't! Call me father! I won't call you father! <laughs> call me father! No way! <laughs> Ziling! <laughs> Little rascal! C hey, come here! Stop it! Let go of me! Call me father! Let me down! <laughs> call me father! No! no. 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 no.
Time does fly so quickly. It would be so nice to be young again. You're in the prime of your life. It's much better than being young. Huh? <laughs> I think it's best to be a kid like Zi Ling. But you're now the Lord of Shang. You're a successful man. Sister was right about you. Listen to yourself. It's like you're saying I made a bet. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, your sister never saw me with her eyes. <laughs> you made mother happy and aunt made too. I raise a toast to you. Huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ziling. Today you can drink, but you can't get drunk. All right. You made me really happy today. I'll toast to you too. <laughs> Cheers. You can't wait to grow up, can you, Zuling? <laughs> That's right. Like father, like son. <laughs> Zuling. Oh. He's really your father. F f father. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't take after me in drinking. Just one cup and he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> My husband, I will drink with you. All right. To you, my wife for eternity. To you, my everlasting love. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Our vow to be together will last for the rest of our lives. Think about it. Back then, when I was still in my twenties, I made a decision. Without realizing it, thirteen years have already passed. And now, you and I have gotten old. Do you know that all these years, we have missed 15,000 meals together. 
Life has always been hard. Time flows like water. The years are long and time comes and goes. Whether it's 13 years or 30 years, I'm not scared. As long as you find where you belong, you will never fear time. Right now, I'm a successful man. I'm above all officials. I have been given a title and fiefdom. But despite that, I keep feeling like my heart is empty. <sighs> it's not. You have me. Your son. And the path that we've taken. Path? Is there a path to heaven? <laughs> Brother Strawmat, is there a path to heaven? <laughs> Here, sir. You're Strawmat. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it. There's no path to heaven. Let me help you. No. Uh, Just leave. Uh, leave. Get out. <laughs> Remember that? Huh? If you're not from the commanders, why were you on a galloping horse? <laughs> hmm. When there was a galloping horse, then you know it's an emergency. Well, that rider is looking for the wrong person. <laughs> Brother, are you the second official Wei Yang? None of your business. What do you want? Hmm. <laughs> Brother, I'm but a humble painter. <laughs> uh, I heard uh, about your chess theory, and I really admire you. <laughs> if you admire chess, I won't waste my time. <laughs> <laughs> Sister Megu has arrived with a message for you. What's it about? There is a tide of news coming. You must come. It's a very important matter. When is it? <laughs> do you work at the Discipline Chief's office? <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> you, you question everything, and you're careful with your words. Chi chi su gan Yu Yu Nan Shan Ru Chu Li Yi Ru Sun Mao Yi Xiong Ji Di Jie Tong Xi Feng Xi Xi Ai Xiao Ai Yu I shall I yo yo nan shan yo yo nan shan feng xi xi ai xiao ai I <laughs> 
Painter boy. I want to bring you three back to Shanyang with me. Is that all right? Well, Ying Yu also agreed to this. Ying Yu is very generous. <laughs> Both of you are generous. Truly. But going back isn't a good idea. It will be fine. The Duke and Duchess already know about us. Yang, you should retire at the height of your career. <laughs> Back then. Back then, who, who stopped me from being a hermit? <laughs> that was then. Now it's different. So tell me, if I resign, would the Duke let me go? If nothing goes wrong, he should let you go. <laughs> yes, you're right. He issued an imperial edict and approved my retirement. Uh, really? <laughs> uh, I should retire now. I am a cultivator. When I cultivate, I become courageous and strong. When the barn is filled with grain, <laughs> I become lethargic. I want to spend the rest of my life cultivating a new frontier. A clear mind and wise. You are one of a kind. I want to write a book and teach bright men the way to form a good government. Let's travel together to mountains and rivers. I just want to be with you forever. We'll make up for the time we've lost. Let's live without regrets and enjoy our lives. Yang, you're still the same old you. <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? Xiangyang, your laws have hurt the people. Today is the day you die. <laughs> Let's have a fair duel. A fair duel? You bring men and wear a mask. Are you someone who will fight fair in a duel? It will be fair once I kill that man. Your voice sounds very familiar. Attack! Did he come to the house before? Why didn't you tell me? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. <sighs> he sounded like someone I know. Who? Gong Sun Gu. But he looks very different now. How strange. He can alter his looks. But his own voice is something he can't change. A disguise. He's a masked fugitive. Mm. Those men are still holding a grudge. <sighs> Let's take a look. Who is it? Brother Ho! <laughs> Brother Yang! How have you been? <laughs> it's like I'm in a dream. Your hair has gone gray. <laughs> and look at you. You have a long beard and you look worn out. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Ho, yes. you two are connected. You came as soon as you arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk inside. All right. <laughs> huh? 
Miss Mai sent a pigeon. I thought something must have happened, so I came right away. That was because the other day we had a strange visitor. Then today we met a man who wanted to kill Yang. The strange man has been roaming the mountain for two years. Until now, I don't know who he is. Yang told me he sounded like someone he knew before. Who? The Prince of Qin's first teacher, Gong Sun Gu. I'm sure of it. Qin's laws are strict. How can a fugitive escape to Longxi's mountains? Was Gong Sun Gu always good at sword fighting? He didn't work with the military, and he hardly knew any martial arts. I don't think so. If he has had encounters, improving his skills at this age is still possible. Hmm. Well, that man is injured. For now, he's not a threat. After I get back to Shanyang, I'll order an investigation on him. Are you going back to Miss Bai? Of course she is. <laughs> Congratulations. That's great. Come. Let's toast. When are you leaving? I'll make arrangements for you. We need at least ten carriages. About a month later. Ho Ying, stay for a while. We can drink every day. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> but I can't stay in your house. I'll visit more frequently. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, mother! A horse is coming! That doesn't sound like a merchant expedition. Whoa! Message from the Senior Grand Master. I need to see Lord Chang. Lord Chang, Senior Grand Master has a message. Please take a rest first. Give me time to reply. He told me. You don't need to reply. I can leave once it's delivered. Goodbye. Hey, is Senior Grand Master in Shanyang? His Lordship is ill and doesn't want to tell you. I sent this letter to tell you in private. Decide for yourself whether or not to come back. Is something wrong? Brother Yang, if there's a problem, please tell us. The Duke of Qin is sick. Is it serious? It's not. <laughs> the Duke is very strong. He should be fine. <laughs> Brother Yang, um... Uh, this is a state matter. You and Miss Bai should discuss and make a decision. I'll come back in three days. I should go. Brother Ho, Mei Jingnan, take Zilin and see Brother Ho out. Oh, no need. I'll be fine. I know the way. Goodbye. Please be careful. I'll get the horse. All right. Jingnan, come with me. Uh. Does he have secret illnesses or old diseases? Sometimes he would catch a cold for unknown reasons. This time, it must be serious. If it's just a normal cold, he wouldn't order them not to let you know. Senior Grandmaster wouldn't tell you in private, and he wouldn't inform you in this manner. Even Yingyu isn't sending you a letter. It means his condition must be a big secret. If he didn't want you to know, he clearly didn't want to drag you back. He truly wants you to retire and enjoy your life. Yang, be strong. This is the last crossroad. No matter what your decision is, no one would blame you. Ah. 
painter boy. I have to go back once again. The Duke hasn't selected a prince. At this moment, if he's very ill, he can't rule the state. It'll be hard. The reforms of Chin hasn't been standardized and formed a powerful ruling yet. The noble families haven't given up. If the Duke is ill and I retire, this would be their best opportunity. Yes, you're right. This is a crossroad for the fate of Chin. Even more so, this is a crossroad for my career. I have no other choice in this matter. You do. Chin State doesn't. Are you saying I can leave Chin behind, but Chin will not work without me? At this crossroad, Chin won't survive without you. So the only option I have is Chin. I didn't expect, after all these years, we'd be facing the same predicament again. Back then it was for the reforms. Now it's for the success. Like I said, no matter what your decision is, no one would blame you. Even if I leave this time, it won't take another 10 years. <laughs> Actually, from the moment I saw this letter, I already knew that you would go back. You wouldn't let your efforts go to waste. And just retire. Maybe. For us, it's just a beautiful dream. I already told you, didn't I? You're not! If you're my father, why are you leaving my mother, Aunt May, and me? Maybe it would be better if... you don't call me father. <laughs> Zeling, you'll eventually understand these sorts of things when you're older. You're just afraid that I'll be in danger. Actually, when you first came, I already knew you were my father. Oh! 
father, I'll go with you. I'll protect you and mother. I promise. I will come back soon. I am a man of my word. All right, then you'll teach me how to read and fight. Was quick. Let's talk inside. Don't let anyone in. Yes, sir. Tell me, how is his condition? Days after you went to Shang Yu, his lordship had a high fever, and it got worse. The physician told us. It can't be simple if the reason is unknown. The officials need to plan ahead. Incidentally, his lordship summoned me. And said that you're exhausted. He didn't want me to tell you about this and disturb you. I didn't know what to do. Che Ying, Wang Shi, and the other officials came to me last night, asking me to inform you of what happened. I told them what his lordship ordered. They all just went silent and sat until dawn. Lord Shang, I had to do it. You did the right thing. How was Miss Bai? I feel really bad. That doesn't matter. Right now, is he conscious? Sometimes he is. It's hard to tell. He couldn't take care of state affairs for half a month. Let's go to the palace. This. Enough. Change the water. Huh. Get more ice. Right. <coughs> My lord, Lord Shang is here. Huh? Qu quick, send him in. Yes, my lord. Uh, help me uh. up. My lord.